Today we are in Istat, in the south of Sweden, on the Baltic Sea. We are meeting Florian Eggers. He is a biologist. He works with the University of Karlstad and the Fiskevars technique. The general idea of his project is in part to study the efficiency of existing fish passes and in another to compare different techniques for monitoring the movement of fish in rivers. But here in Istat, his work is a bit different. Florian tells us about the river Nibro. In the past, the river was really exploited. There were small hydroelectric plants, mills, and many barriers. Today, these activities no longer exist. The barriers have been partially dismantled or lowered, but are still there. The sea trout population in this river, which was badly damaged by fragmentation and poor water quality, is now expected to grow. Florian studies the rebirth of this population to understand if the Nibro can become a model for river recovery. Sea trout is a migratory fish. The young fish, the smolts, swim downstream to the sea in spring, stay in the Baltic Sea for one, two or even several winters and then come back upstream for reproduction. Florian has two sites on the Nibro where he is working. The first, where we are now, is seven kilometers from the river mouth. There is a fish counter here. It is activated every time a fish passes inside it. Thanks to the fish counter, Florian is able to collect data on the entire population of the river. There is also a trap here. If the locks are open, the flow passes inside the trap and the fish that enter cannot get out. Florian used this trap to capture smolts. Then he applied a tag with a chip to them, similar to those used for pets, and released them back into the river. Last of all, he placed antennas capable of recording the passage of a tagged fish into the river. Thanks to the antennas, Florian can follow the movements of the subsect of the trout population that has been tagged. Thanks to the fish counter, Florian can also see photos of the fish he has tagged when they pass by and follow their growth. And then obviously you're very happy when they come back and you can see they made it to an adult stage because that's the same for every living being. And when you see that, you have some data from a fish that came back already a second time, then that's just Nice to know. Now you know this fish, right? You um, can follow a substantial part of its life. And depending on how long the antennas run, you might actually be able to follow it for its whole life. Um, and that is, uh, yeah, that is just incredible to, to know. Let's move downstream to the mouth of the Nibro on the Baltic Sea. Here, Florian has set up two more antennas. Florian talks about the technical challenge of operating equipment in the natural environment. The antennas are rectangles of wire and are activated if fish pass inside the rectangle or very close to it. The antenna must be placed so that it maintains its shape over time, whatever the temperature and water flow conditions. And it's not simple. The first winter he was here the water rose to a level it hadn't touched in 50 years and took away the antennas. So you have this optimal way that you want something to work and you have the reality where you can be quite busy in just getting it to work um, to uh, at least good enough degree, not, never the perfect state. So you take a lot of time in making sure that the antenna stays in shape. And here, especially, you have a second part to it, which is that the frequency of the antenna is a very susceptible to noise, to other frequencies. So you try to find a spot where the antenna works as good as possible uh, for most of the time. You will basically never get it to run smoothly, perfectly, over the whole time. You never read about this in scientific publications. But a researcher can spend a large part of his time fine-tuning the equipment. Florian tells us that this job is a privilege for him. 
working in nature, in wonderful environments, being in contact with wild animals, having the resources to carry on his studies, and, most importantly, loving his job.